All right, hi everyone, I'm back. I'm so sorry for the super long ones that I've been doing. So sorry. Um, again, one sitting, I got a little involved last time. Anyway, um, so this time we're gonna introduce ourselves. I'm Julieta, this is Meandering with the Agatha Christie, the ABC murders. Anyway, um, we're pretty deep right now. Um, we're coming to the end. I swear, I think we're somewhere in the, um, 80, high 80s, low 90s percent done. So we're nearly done. We're, we're nearly through this, people. Um, I'm excited. I'm gonna finish this tonight. Um, it's gonna be great. And, uh, then you won't ever have to end by tonight. I mean, the night I'm recording, not the night tonight. I'm so sorry. Um, there might be two more episodes. Um, if, if I'm thinking this is going to get as bad as it is, um, <laughs> cause I'm suspecting a lot of interviews. If any of you have ever seen anything about Agatha Christie, whether that's on Doctor Who or, uh, Masterpiece Theater or mis a Masterpiece Mystery, any of that, you, you know, the end is always a little bit involved. So I'm expecting a little bit more, um, fun and games before we're done. So, um... Here we go. Dry cloth. Uh, A dry cloth. Okay, um. Nope, don't need that. Um. A bottle of solvent. A bottle of solvent. There we go. The cloth is now soaked with solvent. All right, now we just need to blot our pages. As shown. So I don't know how that chemical reaction Got it. works. Make a note, Hastings, make a note. Mrs. Alisasha, Sharpona in Andover. Tracatis, Hemoptesis, prescribed Laudanum. I got it. Look. Poirot, where on earth did you find these files? On a fire at the bottom of the garden at Comside. All right, but where did the person who burned them find them? All right. Hastings, it would appear that you are getting slightly thin on top. Really? I hadn't noticed. Jeez. Okay, this is one of the things that I, I... Perot is very to the point. Mami, it is a pleasure to be working with you again. I have missed you this past few years. Oh. Poirot, since my return, I see that you have fewer grayer hairs than when I last saw you. How is that possible? Monami, I am sure that you will find the explanation all on your own. <laughs> he dies it. Hastings, mm, for your air. Yes. There exists an accessory, how shall I say, that can be fastened to the scalp and covered with your own hair. Let me be quite clear, it is not a wig. It is a toupee. Come on, Poirot, I'm not losing my hair. It's just thin slightly. Dear. Please don't stare at me, Poirot. It gives me a sore head. Oh. Hastings, may I advise you about your moustache? You don't like it? It is superb. But it would be even more so if you allowed it to grow more. And you should tap her the end slightly. Hastings, I have noticed that the books on the shelves are not in the correct order. Oh, dear. Yes, yes. I'll be more careful. Hastings, I do not wish to wrongly accuse you, but I think you have dropped a few crumbs. Honestly, Poirot, can we talk about something other than crumbs? So, Hastings, can you see the solution to our little problem? Poirot, I won't be able to do it without your help. Order and method, Hastings. No question can resist the methodical mind. This is very true. Hastings, it would appear that you are getting slightly... All right. Really? All right. So, I'm going to get my, my ego points.
We've done that. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, done that as well. Pardon me. I've finished with this subject. I do not need to. I've finished with this subject. Okay. So where do we go? What do we do here? Um. Alice Asher, shopkeeper in Hendover. Trachitis, hemoptysis, chronic cough with lots of blood. Prescribed. Okay, wonderful. Betty Barnard, waitress in Bexhill. Chronic bronchitis, causing dysphonia. Advised to stop smoking. Oh, don't smoke, kids. It's bad for you. Alexander Bonaparte cast. While wounded, mustard gas and head trauma. Huh. Pulmonary emphysema. Hemoptysis, coughing fits with blood, suffers from absences and amnesia. Oh, that's not good. Dick Dudley Dunbar, owner of the Black Swan Hotel in Doncaster. Asthmatic, heart disease, heart condition. Oh, Jesus. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. His medical records have been <sighs> Hmm. Okay, so we know where they came from. We can't we came from the thing. We just have to get that there correctly. Anyway, uh, that won't be correct. This would would be correct. No, that's not it. Um. Hmm. They've recently been consulted. There was a door to door salesman. That maybe not matter. Um, no? Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way, which is Juliana's gonna pick wildly. Um, first three. No luck. That makes no sense. This. All right, and that doesn't work. All right. Hmm. There we go, finally. Sorry. Uh, the doctor... Sorry. Wow. The burned documents are medical records and without Oi. a doubt, they come from Clark's archives. First of all, because all the patients have thought conditions. And secondly, their name starts with either A, B, C, or D. And it is precisely the files that match these letters that have been tampered with. But why burn these files? How come the names of the two victims appear on them? And who are the two other patients? These are very good questions. 
Hmm. Yes, yes, I'm coming. I swear. I'm not looking. No, 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 no. So slow. Slow, slow. So slow. Hello, Poirot. Any news, Chief Inspector? You wanted a stocking seller? We have one. Reported by his landlady who thought he was behaving suspiciously. He has the most unbelievable name. Hmm. I'm gonna go Alexander Bonaparte Cust. Um, the reason not uh, Dick Dudley Dunbar is because, well, that's the name of the town he's going to visit. Anyway. Alexander Bonaparte Cust. Yes, Alexander Bonaparte Cust. How did you guess? Poro, you have magical powers. It's a serious lead. I called Doncaster. A person matching Cust's description has been seen at the station. He got off the train from London, but after that, nobody knows where he went. Uh... Look for him at the Black Swan Hotel. What? How do you know he's there? Trust me, Chief Inspector. You appear to be very sure of yourself. Very well. I'll call the Black Swan straight away. The owner is going to get a shock when he learns that there's a murderer under his roof. Huh. The guy's got a heart condition, so I don't know. Um... Chief Inspector, I would rather call myself. As you wish. Please go ahead. Yeah, I decided to do that myself. This is what Hello, the things. Black Swan. Hercule Poirot here. May I speak to the owner? Speaking. Dick Dudley Dunbar. How can I help you? Is there Mr. Cast among your guests? He arrived today. Shall I call him for you? No, it is you I wish to speak with. But who is this Cust? Have you heard about the ABC case? Oh, yes. I must say I'm not all that reassured. What with my name starting with D and all that? You're in danger. Beware of your guest. Do you think that Cust might be dangerous? Oh, I do hope you're wrong. He seems so harmless, you know. Oh, yes. Completely harmless. We must not overestimate the danger. After all, we are not absolutely sure he is guilty. What should I do? Watch him. If he leaves the hotel, watch where he is heading. I'll call the police in Doncaster immediately. When they arrive, keep out of the way. Oh, indeed. I shall keep out of the way. I have a bad heart, you see, and a big shot could kill me. Thank you for having warned me. Hello, Poirot. We have some good news. The police in Doncaster have caught our man at the Black Swan Hotel. They're sending him here by train. While we're waiting to question Cust, we could search his room in London. Where does he live? Mm. The Marbury Guest House. That's probably a good idea. I'll see you there. Yes, but start without me. First of all, I have to sort out a few details for Cust transfer. I understand. A bientôt. Hastings, we are making good progress. Please go and search the room of our number one suspect. With pleasure. I did have a dentist appointment, but I'll cancel. A dentist. So that is why you are so nervous and bad-tempered. A visit a to the dentist is never an enjoyable prospect. But an unavoidable one. Go to your appointment, Hastings. I will manage on my own. All right, this is where I will stop this one. I have held to you too long. To house, please. For the last few uh, endeavors of this. So thank you so much for watching Meanderings. Um, 
with me. Um, I will see you next time. Thumbs up if you like, thumbs down if you don't. Constructive criticism, please. I will try to make attempts to fix things um, that you guys don't like. Uh, make improvements. Uh, or stay the same if you absolutely love it. I don't know that there is something you absolutely love, but I'll try to keep the same as much as possible. Or not, depending on your stuff. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please enjoy the rest of your time until our next video.